Hi everyone, I hope you had a happy Christmas. Before we enter the new year, I want to take a moment to reflect. 2022 was tough, just as we recovered from an unprecedented global pandemic. Russia launched a barbaric and illegal invasion across Ukraine. This has had a profound economic impact around the world, which the UK is not immune to. Now, I know many of you have felt that impact at home. That's why this government has taken difficult but fair decisions to get borrowing and debt under control. And it's because of those decisions that we've been able to help the most vulnerable with the rising cost of energy bills. Three months ago, I stood at the steps of Downing Street and promised I would work relentlessly on the things that matter most to you. Since then, this government has taken decisive action to back our NHS with record resources to tackle the backlogs, more funding, more doctors and more nurses. We're also tackling illegal migration and stopping criminals from abusing our asylum system. Now, I'm not going to pretend that all our problems will go away in the new year, but 2023 will give us an opportunity to showcase the very best of Britain on the world stage, continuing to stand with our Ukrainian friends against Putin's brutality and defending freedom and democracy wherever we find it under threat. In this historic year of His Majesty the King's coronation, we will come together with pride in everything that makes this country great. Yes, 2023 will have its challenges, but the government I lead is putting your priorities first. I wish everyone a very happy new year.